What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are gonna be having a little discussion about raids because even though I'm so happy and so excited for them to be in the game, they're still a little bit iffy right now. As a PvE player, I want nothing more but to see raids succeed. And with that in mind, today I'm gonna be discussing the things that I would do to fix raids. But with all that being said, let's get right on into the video. So the first thing I want to discuss is simply unlocking the island to access the raid itself. In my opinion, the amount of Azoth needed to unlock just one island is a bit too high. As of right now, you need 1,440 Azoth. And if you are farming croc rematches, you get about three Azoth per match. Do the math and you're gonna be doing about 360 croc rematches. Now I know those are the calculations if only one person is farming for all of the Azoth, but let's say you have three other people with you you're running a group of four, that's still gonna be about 90 croc rematches, which in my opinion is absolutely ridiculous to ask people to do, especially with the most effective way right now being croc rematches. And having four people have to craft that many rematches is crazy, especially with the current croc rematch recipe, which requires so much parchment. Now, even with all that being said, I just wanna make it known that I do not mind farming at all. I do understand that you're gonna have to farm for things in this game. And as a PvE player, I actually really enjoy farming especially with friends. So I would say make us farm for the Azoth, but just lower the amount of Azoth needed. Now onto the second thing I want to talk about, which is the current key price to unlock these raids. If you do not already know, to craft a raid key, you are going to need to make this Vorocious Void Raid Key, and that requires 625 Azoth and 10 Monster Magic Summons. I believe that that key price is just a little bit too much to ask for, especially with all the current bugs that are in the game. Game. I've been hearing stories going around the community about people who have been entering the raids, making the raid key, and if you don't already know, the raid is supposed to stay open for three hours. But instead of it staying open for three hours, the first time that they try and reset, the raid is simply locked again. But now, not only are you out a raid key, but you are also out all that time that you spent farming for Azoth. And next, I really just want to talk about them making us do events that the community really does not enjoy doing. In order to craft this raid key, you you need to do monstrology and I don't know if you do monstrology but I personally have not even tried it and I do understand the argument of it is a game developers job to make you play the whole game which means doing events that you might not like doing but forcing people to do monstrology because there's no other way to get those monster summons is just not the best way to go about it because you're gonna upset a whole group of people because even though I don't mind learning about monstrology after so many people put so much time and effort into just unlocking this part of the guild it's now something more that they have to put time into. And a lot of people, especially with school coming back into session, are just not going to have that time, sadly. And so I really wish that they would have alternative ways to make this raid key. Now, the third issue I want to talk about is simply just not having players to do the raid with. As a content creator, it's a lot easier to get a group of 12 people together because you can simply just make an event out of it. But for the regular casual players, which are most of the people playing this game, it's really difficult to do that. So allowing for new people to be able to find your guild I feel like would be really helpful. So my suggestion for them is to put a kiosk in the game like the team up kiosk they have and guild leaders could advertise their guild on that kiosk. For example, if you have a PvP centered guild, you could advertise that you're looking for PvP players. And if someone finds a community that they want to join, they can simply send an invitation to the guild owner. I don't know if this is feasible. I'm really just throwing ideas out there at this point, but I think that that would be a really cool feature to see. So the next thing I want to touch on is the gear that is actually dropped from these raids. If you have not already seen the gear, I will pop it up on the screen right here. And as you can see, the gear for Storm, Myth, and Fire are really good, not only for PvE, but also for PvP, predominantly PvP. And the only way to get this gear is by defeating the raid, which I believe no one has done yet. So it is gonna be extremely challenging to get, which I don't mind at all. It's really good gear. It should be difficult to get, but I feel like the difficulty of raid should be tweaked down just a little bit. So my idea here might be a little bit weird. You guys may hate it, but I feel like we should have three different raids with three different
different difficulties. I am staring at three battle gates right now. So in my mind, one should be easy mode, the next one should be normal, and then the last one should be a difficult or hard mode. And so for example, if you do the easy version of the raid, you're only guaranteed one piece of gear. If you do the normal version, you're guaranteed two pieces of gear. In the hard mode, you would get three or four pieces of gear for your school. That way, if you work so hard to complete a raid, you're not having RNG mess you up. And it would also encourage you to max your wizards. I'm not saying change the level of raids at all. I still believe that it should be 150 players doing this, but I think that we should have the option to select our difficulty. And I feel like this will also entice new players to try raids because the general consensus right now is that they are too hard and too difficult and people just don't even want to try. And I feel like having the difficulty selection will be more welcoming for new players because if you can go into the easy mode of this raid and you can be allowed to make a couple mistakes, it won't be as so scary. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know in a comment down below if you agree or disagree with me. And the last point I really want to drive home is that if we are having to do more difficult fights, we should be guaranteed more pieces of gear. Like if I am working my ass off in these raids trying to get everything perfect and at the end of it I get a life amulet on my storm, I'm not going to be really happy with that. So at the bare minimum, I feel like if we complete a raid fully, we should get one guaranteed piece of our school's gear. Alrighty guys, but that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you did not find this video too ranty. I really just want to get my opinion across on how to make things better because honestly, I really want nothing more but to see raids and guilds succeed. These are the things that we have been asking Wizard101 for for ages and it is finally here and I am so excited. I just wish that it would be tweaked just a little bit. Absolutely no hate to the devs or anyone who works over at King's Isle. I just really wanted to provide some hopefully constructive criticism and I hope you guys don't hate me for doing so. But yeah guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button before you go as it goes a really long way and shows me that you guys are enjoying my content. And as always, if you want to add me or just hang out with me while I'm not playing Wiz, make sure to join my Discord. I will have it linked down below and I would love to have you guys over there. But yeah guys, that's going to be it for me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!